Hello, this is Philip Wynn. I've been asked by a number of you on how to smoke a cigar. So I'm making a small video for you to see how to smoke a cigar. For those who already smoke cigars, bear with me, be patient, but there's a lot of new cigar smokers on the market who want to know the proper way to enjoy a cigar. And the most important thing to remember about cigars is that this is a way of life and uh, one needs to slow smoke. Slow smoking is the way of life. So one, in order to enjoy a cigar, one needs to be able to enjoy from the moment that you take the cigar in your hands to you light it. It's all a process of visual touch. All your senses get involved. Your sight, as you look at the cigar, you touch, you feel it, you smell it, and you, you become active with the earth and all the people, the labor of the people that have gone into making the cigars, from the guys that have cultivated the tobacco, to the people that have, uh, that have uh, rolled it, to the people that put it in boxes, to when it finally gets to you. Uh, there are various ways to cut a cigar. Obviously, when you're dealing with a, a torpedo or bellicoso, where you have a pointed tip, you can only use a double-edged cutter or a single cutter. You cut about a third of the cigar here, leaving a flat edge. I recommend that you use cedar matches. This way you don't have the taste of butane, and it's also more natural. The aroma of the cedar, uh, wood that burns, helps uh, with the cigar. So you light. You take the cigar, you light your match, hold your match down, and slowly toast the cigar, toast the ends, so that there's an even combustion. You slowly intake, twirling the cigar. blow on the tip. Once your cigar is properly lit, it should burn evenly all the way through if it is a well-made cigar, which most of the premium cigars are. The first notes of the cigar are the notes that hit your tongue right away and your palate and give you the flavor, your first, your first sensations. Usually you have a, a sensation of strength, of power, pepperiness, spiciness, people call it different ways. Then as you keep on smoking, draw in the smoke, you fill your mouth with the smoke, you let the smoke stay in the air and you can tell by the thickness of the smoke the quality of the cigar you're smoking. And it takes you, it transports you into another world. It takes away the stress, it takes away all your problems because now you are concentrating. You are meditating on your cigar, you're meditating on your pleasure. Remember that the Native Americans, when they started doing their religious ceremonies, would take tobacco and blow it to the four points of the compass, north, south, east, and west, to sanctify the air around them. So tobacco is inherent to our culture. It is a culture, even though a lot of people are anti-tobacco now, it's a culture that's inherited to the new world. Our country was formed by tobacco, by tobacco farmers. Our first president, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, were all tobacco farmers. and they've taken that heritage from the Native Americans that lived in this land before us. Once you smoke a cigar, you realize that the pace of things slow down. A famous Hungarian composer of classical music, Franz Liszt, has one of my favorite quotes. He says, a good cigar closes the door on the vulgarities of life. And that's what happens. You are one with your cigar, if you have some friends with you, if you have a nice glass of rum or whatever you drink, you sit back and you enjoy your cigar and you can enjoy and become focused and you have a time out from the hectic role of life around you.